Marty asked the question about Gauss. All right, let's talk about Gauss. Gauss is a, um, a scientist from the 1800s, actually he's a mathematician, who came up with a term to describe the intensity of a magnetic field. Um, so there are a number of terms that are used to describe magnetic field intensity. Gauss is basically one of the units. So one Gauss is about double the intensity of the magnetic field of the Earth. The Earth's magnetic field is about half a Gauss. So that's an old concept, an old term, and today we're we talk about Tesla, the guy that had developed electricity, Nikola Tesla. So one Tesla is 10,000 Gauss. Very few PEMF systems get up to that level, but get up to the Tesla level. Some, as I mentioned just a minute ago, the, the uh, PEMF 120 or the Tesla Fit Pro get up to um, 0.8 Tesla or about 8,000 Gauss. Most PEMF systems that most of us are using are in the milli Tesla range. So a milli Tesla is a thousandth of a Tesla. So one milli Tesla is 1,000 Gauss. All right, so 10, uh, I take that back, I'm sorry. One milli Tesla is 10 Gauss, 10 Gauss. I, I'm, I take, scratch, scrub that. One milli Tesla is 10 Gauss. 10 milli Tesla is 100 Gauss. A thousand milli Tesla is going to be 10,000 Gauss. All right, so Gauss is the most commonly used unit of measurement of magnetic field intensity that most of us are aware of. But the scientists and doctors and in, in my book and many of the articles that I, that I write about, blogs that I write, we talk about millitesla. So most of the PEMF systems that we use, that people use for health purposes, are going to be under uh, 0.8 tesla, are going to be under 0.5 tesla, are generally going to be uh, around, at the most, 100 millitesla, 200 millitesla. So 200 millitesla is 2,000 gauss. 300 millitesla is 3,000 gauss. So if you have, if you, this will be recorded if you want to go back and you can reread re this. We describe all this in the um, book, Power Tools for Health. Uh, we also have it on our um, education area of our webpage, drpollock.com. So this is the book, Power Tools for Health. There's a lot of science in here, but if you want to learn more about magnetic field therapy, this is the book I recommend. Um, so that's Millie Tesla and Tesla. Now, micro Tesla, which you'll see frequently, is the systems that are under one Gauss. 100 micro Tesla is one Gauss. 1,000 micro Tesla is 10 Gauss. But most of the people who talk about micro Tesla are usually talking about intensities lower than one Gauss. It's easier to talk about micro Tesla than to talk about, say, milli Gauss, which is a thousandth of a Gauss, or 0.1 Gauss, or 0.2 Gauss. So that's often confusing to people as well. So because they're using the word Tesla, micro Tesla, it, it gets confusing that it means higher intensity. No, micro means a millionth of a Gauss or a millionth of a Tesla. Um, all right, so 3,500 Gauss, can that detox the liver? The answer is yes. But because I mentioned, Marty asked this question as well. So can 3,500 Gauss detox the liver? Yes. The question again is the depth. But because 3,500 Gauss is not gonna give you 15 Gauss at the back of the liver adequately, then what you may have to do with a 3,500 Gauss machine is you may have to treat the front first and then treat the back. So that by the time you are, are treated the whole liver, the center of it is going to be getting a pretty sufficient amount of magnetic energy. So 3,500 Gauss can detox the liver, but you're gonna to have to treat from front to back. Uh, don't forget the liver is a pretty wide organ, right? Crosses most of your abdomen. So you have to treat from front to back. At, on the um, right side of the liver, it's deeper into the body than the left side. It's wider on the right side than the left side. So it slopes down. So you might not need to treat the tail as much as you do the major part of the liver. But you may have to treat two areas, or if you, in the case of a Tesla Fit Plus, or in the case of a ParMed system where you have a very strong, small pad applicator, you can treat it right, right across the whole area. And that will detox the liver. More importantly than detoxing the liver, now what do we mean by detoxing the liver? It means that you're basically opening up the cells 
of the, of, the, of, the, of the liver itself. So the cells open up. And when they open up, they can drop their contents. And that includes waste. Also, when you open up the cells, the membrane cells of, of, a, of a membrane, the cells, sorry, the channels of a membrane, and there are membranes, there are over 200 membranes in every cell, uh, 200 membrane channels in every cell. When you open all that up, nutrients get in better and waste gets out better. So water comes out of the cell better, uh, other waste products get out better, et cetera. So that's a form of detoxing. But when you're talking about getting rid of heavy metals, when you're talking about getting rid of other toxins, environmental toxins, insecticides, pesticides, mercury, et cetera. The answer is yes, but you know, we're not that certain that we can make sure that it's out of there. At least you're giving the body a fighting chance to be able to, to get rid of stuff as much as possible. At the very least, what you're doing is you're helping the liver to be as healthy as possible. If the liver is healthy, like any tissue in the body, if the liver is healthier than it would normally be, it will do a better job of taking care of itself. And it can live with the toxins living in the cells of the liver. So the problem is not so much living with stuff that's in the liver. And sometimes if you have parasites and they wall themselves off, you don't want to open up that wall because the body's already insisted it. It's put a cyst around it. Because if you open it up, then the contents can spill out and cause more inflammation in the body. So sometimes detoxification can cause harm temporarily, more harm than, than it's worth. So, but at the very least, if you're making the liver healthier, it will be able to do a lot more work for the amount of effort that it has to produce to, to maintain its, its uh, viability and, and its general health and to keep you healthy. Same thing applies to any tissues in the body. 